Good morning, everybody. Uh, as Mr. Walden said, my name is Dan Smuts, Assistant Principal at Rancho Buena Vista High School. Uh, to describe our school, uh, the strength of our school is in our students and the culture of our students. Uh, it's my privilege to introduce uh, Kayla Chen as uh, an example of this strength in our students. And uh, as you'll find out, I'm sure, through her teacher and um, through her own speech and from her, from her mother, uh, she is a leader in every aspect on our campus. She's a leader in the classroom with outstanding uh, academic achievements already, working through as a, uh, a full IB scholar at RPB. She's on our tennis team. She is involved in numerous clubs. Uh, and while we tend to look at academics as uh, really where the awards come from, uh, Kayla, you will find, is a, is a leader in character and integrity in every group of students that she works with. Uh, so, uh, without any further ado, here's Kayla Chen. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Kayla Chen. I'm a senior at RBB, and uh, this is my mother, Cecilia, and my teacher slash coach, Ms. Wood. Um, I was quite shocked when I found out I was chosen as Rising Star of the Month from RBB. I was told I had to go to the principal's office, which was a little nerve-wracking. Um, but thankfully, I was reassured by the school staff that I wasn't in trouble. Um, I believe my greatest uh, contribution to school and society is being involved in my community. I really like being busy, which is why I'm involved in many like clubs. Um, I joined the Amnesty International Club last year at my school, which focused on human rights. And I also joined the Environmental Club this year which dealt with climate change and other environmental issues. I was new to these global issues and I realized that I was almost 18 and would soon be able to vote. I wanted to make sure that when I do go out into the real world, I know what I'm voting for and whether or not it will make a change on society. Uh, the biggest lesson I've learned is to make time for myself and to make sure that what I'm doing matters to me and not just because someone else tells me to do it. I think one of the most important things is to follow my passion. And for me, I uh, didn't know what that was. I didn't know what to major in college or what I wanted to do in my future. However, over the past couple of years, I've grown a liking to biology. I've had a complicated relationship with the subject uh, <laughs> since I wasn't very good at science in middle school. Uh, but from taking three years of biology and having two years of those classes with my teacher, Ms. Frank, it made me decide to major in biology. Uh, I plan to hopefully attend UCSD because they are known for their great programs and their innovative research. And finally, I'd just like to thank all the sponsors for supporting this program, and I'm really proud to be representing my school today. Thank you. also wrote mine down so I wouldn't get off topic. Um, hi, my name is Evan Wood and I am Kayla's former AP European history teacher and her current uh, varsity tennis coach. I first came to know Kayla in class during her sophomore year um, and she was and still is an excellent student. Sorry, just, I just erased my whole thing I think. No I didn't, okay. Um, she asked thoughtful questions, worked well with other students, and always had a positive attitude. Um, she actually just reminded me that at the end of her sophomore year, we did a food fest in her class, and one of the things she brought in, she was representing France, was macaroons, but she decorated them to have a little blonde ponytail and face, so they were Miss Wood macaroons. Um, so that just kind of gives an example of how creative she also is. At the beginning of her junior year, she decided to join the tennis team, of which I'm the varsity coach. She seemed to have a natural talent from the very beginning. Um, she started off on the JV team, but only two weeks into the season, the varsity team had an all-day Saturday tournament at Valhalla High School. At the last minute, we ended up being short one varsity player, and I asked Kayla if she would step in to play a varsity tournament, even though she had just started on the tennis team two weeks before. She happily and quickly agreed to play, and she was an important asset to our team that day. Not only because she boosted our morale so that we didn't have to play short a player and she has a great attitude, but she even won some of her matches that day, um, which helped us uh, get to kind of a playoff position at the very end of the day. Um, on the tennis courts, Kayla continues to be a positive role model to all of her peers because she works hard day in and day out. Um, she does that kind of from behind the scenes, 
Um, she doesn't have to be loud about what she's doing. She just shows that example by her hard work, um, by showing up every day, um, every single day. She improves every single match. She is an amazing doubles player, um, and she's also a singles player when I need her to step up. Not only does she juggle tennis and a rig rigorous academic schedule, but she's even in the process of becoming a full IB student. Not only that, but she's a member of many clubs, as she mentioned, Amnesty International, um, uh, and even the Ping Pong Club. <laughs> uh, that's just to name a few of them. I'm so lucky to have gotten to know Kayla, both in the classroom and on the tennis court. She's an amazing young woman, and I can't wait to see what lies ahead for her. So thank you very much. Hi, good morning. Um, my name is Cecilia, and I'm mom, Kayla's mom. Uh, I don't tell you. <laughs> but anyway, um, first of all, I would like to thank all the sponsors who support this amazing program. Uh, Principal Clavender, who is not here, but uh, maybe Mr. Smith, who is here, and Miss Wood uh, for um, nominating Kayla for this program. Uh, when we heard the news, that she has been named as Rancho Buena Vista's representative for Vista Chamber of Commerce Rising Star of the Month. We were surprised, um, but very happy for her. Um, we couldn't be more proud of her achievement over the years. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> um, I remember when she was two years old. She has some problem uh, pronouncing some words, like the word um, because, and she would say because. <laughs> and, um, then I will give her choices, like um, uh, how to say it right. And then I said, is it because or because? And then she will think about it for a second, and then she will say, because, mommy. And <laughs> so um, after I see her speaking today, I'm so proud how articulate and um, put together she is now. Um, she has been able to overcome any challenges in her classes for being a full AB, uh, AP and IB student, and um, challenges among her peers and um, in sports. She was playing volleyball before, and she decided to try to learn something new, which is tennis. Um, and she has joined several clubs, like she said before, and managing to maintain her high GPA. So I cannot be so more proud than having her as a daughter. Um, thank you. <laughs> so once again, thank you uh, and, uh, to everybody involved in this outstanding uh, opportunity. Congratulations, Kayla. Congratulations to uh, all the recipients. So I'd like to invite Alta Vista High School up 